Uh, okay, uh, this is question number four now from the January 2010 BY1 paper. Uh, the question is on uh, cell division. Okay, um, so let's read out the, uh, the question. Uh, the drawing shows a simplified diagram of the cell cycle. Okay, uh, so the cell cycle is something I've uh, uh, brought up now in the notes I've written. Uh, the size of each segment indicates the relative length of each uh, phase. Indeed, uh, interphase, of course, um, down here is the biggest section because it, it lasts typically about 23 hours. And uh, the other phases there, these all belong to uh, mitosis. And those uh, will last approximately one hour. Okay. Uh, within mitosis, then, it looks as though prophase uh, is the longest uh, phase within mitosis. Okay, so let's uh, move on uh, to the data questions. Part A1, then, draw an arrow on the diagram to show the correct sequence of events uh, in the cycle. Uh, basically, what the examiner wants there is uh, an arrow that shows in which direction uh, the cell cycle is uh, proceeding so it goes in that direction okay uh, so that's the uh, uh, arrow that you uh, should have drawn it's actually going clockwise because uh, interphase is first that then leads to prophase metaphase anaphase then telophase okay and that's uh, that's worth one mark Okay, uh, next then, on the diagram, add a segment to show the point at which cell division, in brackets, cytokinesis, uh, occurs. Well, cytokinesis, of course, occurs uh, uh, during the uh, telophase stage. Okay, so uh, we would actually draw um, a segment of uh, sort of the same size as the telophase, just, just after it. So if I can just draw it in using... Uh, the highlighter pen there okay and um, just for good measure I, I would perhaps label that as well okay cytokinesis although it should be obvious because uh, it's the segment you've added but uh, just to be sure just uh, label it cytokinesis there okay then uh, moving on to part B uh, list four events uh, that occur during interphase okay um, Okay, so again, as long as you can commit uh, several uh, uh, events that occur during interphase to memory, you should be all right here. Um, things you can put in, of course, are the, the, the cell grows, it enlarges in size. Uh, you can get the synthesis of proteins occurring. Uh, you can get replication of DNA. Okay, uh, you can get the... Uh, uh, increase in the number of organelles, so the organelles sort of replicate as well. Okay, synthesis of ATP. Uh, any of those um, would be uh, good for four marks. Okay, so I've decided to go for replication of DNA, synthesis of ATP, protein synthesis, and uh, an increase in cell size. Um, right, part C then. Um, this uh, this section now, you have to name the stage of mitosis where each of the following uh, occurs. All right, so you do have to remember what events occur in each stage of mitosis. You do have to be able to recognize the stages from diagrams and microscope images uh, of cells as well. Okay, uh, so the first one then is uh, chromatids line up at uh, the equator. All right, uh, so that would be metaphase. Remember that uh, the uh, chromosomes or the chromatids always align along the equator during metaphase. If you remember, uh, M begins uh, the word metaphase and M uh, begins the word middle. So metaphase, uh, middle uh, of the cell. Okay. Uh, centromeres split. All right, uh, the centromeres split during anaphase because that's when the uh, sister chromatids are being pulled uh, to opposite uh, poles of the cell. Okay, um, spindle fibers contract and shorten. All right, well, that's anaphase again. All right, it's when they uh, contract and shorten that they pull 
uh, the sister chromatids to opposite poles. Um, okay, then part uh, four. Chromosomes are visible, are first visible, sorry, as a pair of chromatids. Now that will occur during prophase. Remember, prophase is when the chromatin condenses and shortens, and then you get the visible uh, chromosomes uh, appearing. And uh, lastly, then, uh, the nuclear membrane reforms. Well, that's going to occur now during the telophase stage. Uh, that's the end of um, mitosis, where you have two new daughter cells and um, the nucleus uh, reforms in each of those cells. OK, so I've typed in uh, all the answers there for uh, part C. OK, and that's uh, actually the end of uh, question four. So that was worth uh, 11 marks. OK, so that's uh, uh, a lot of marks uh, for a question there that's really um, testing your uh, ability to just remember key facts, really. All right, so again, if you've done your revision, if you've looked over your notes, um, you really shouldn't find that question too difficult.